Water is considered to have solvent properties because the polarity of the water molecule enables it to dissolve other biochemically important polar molecules. A solvent is a substance that dissolves a solute, whereby a solute is a chemically different solid liquid or gas. In this simple demonstration, I am dissolving salt, which is NaCl, and that would be the solute, in water, which would be the solvent. That would form a salt water or a sodium chloride solution. This happens because salt, or NaCl, is made up of a positively charged sodium ion and a negatively charged chloride ion. The negatively charged chloride ion is attracted to the slightly positive hydrogen atom in the water molecule, while the positively charged sodium ion is attracted to the slightly negative oxygen atom in the water molecule. As a result of its solvent properties, water can be used as a medium for metabolism or chemical reactions in living organisms. It can also be used for the transport of biochemically important substances in their dissolved form. In this demonstration, you can see a chemical reaction taking place between carbon dioxide gas and lime water. As a result of the chemical reaction, the lime water turns cloudy. This is significant because many metabolic or chemical reactions take place within the cytoplasm of cells, metabolic reactions such as respiration, and the cytoplasm of cells is primarily composed of water. The solvent properties of water allow the reactants and products of those chemical reactions to dissolve within it. Therefore, the water is a medium in which metabolism can take place. Blood is a great example of a transport medium in animals and that is because the plasma portion of the blood is primarily composed of water. This means that substances can be transported in an aqueous solution within the plasma portion of the blood. A diverse range of substances can be transported but their solubility within the plasma varies. Substances with a high solubility that can be transported within the plasma include glucose, amino acids and sodium chloride. And that's because these substances are polar. Glucose and amino acids are polar molecules, while sodium chloride is an ionic compound. Substances such as these that are polar and therefore chemically attracted to the polar water molecule are known as hydrophilic. In comparison, cholesterol, fats and oxygen have a low solubility and this is because these molecules are non-polar. Therefore, they are not attracted to the polar water molecule. They're not repelled, they're just not attracted. So we refer to them as hydrophobic. As a result, these non-polar substances may be transported by other means in the blood, as they do not dissolve, or they may do so only sparingly. For example, oxygen is transported by hemoglobin in red blood cells, and fat molecules may coalesce to form large droplets within the blood. Finally, let us not forget transport within plants. Plants have a xylem and a phloem. In the xylem, water is transported along with dissolved minerals in the xylem sap. In the phloem, we have the transport of sucrose and other products of photosynthesis within the phloem sap. This once again illustrates water's role as a transport medium.